WAFL Round 20 saw the third clash of the year between Subiaco and Perth. Perth had dominated the first two contests, winning by two goals and five goals respectively. Both of those games were played at Lathlane Park. So today, Subiaco got a chance to take on the Demons on their own home turf. They went into the game very warm favourites, but no one told the Demons that. The Demons got out of the blocks very, very quickly. And the underdogs took all the running up to Subiaco. Busher was a tower of strength at centre-half forward and an early goal to Sandover medalist and captain Ross Young saw the Demons take an early lead. And they continued on in that vein in the first quarter. Subiaco, uh, in defence, were well manned, but under constant pressure, Randall there giving up the football to Horton, a creative hand pass. And once again, the Demons well led and well serviced by young Joel Leeson, kicking a goal from the boundary line. They established an early break, did Perth. They led at quarter time six goals one to one seven so 30 points uh, against the Lions was something that no one anticipated and then Ross Young kicked the first goal of the second quarter and it looked as though Perth were going to run away with the game they continued to exert a lot of pressure in the midfield. They were well organised up forward and Joel Horton's excellent second goal from long range with the left boot was just the start they needed to the second quarter. However, Subiaco started to rally. They started to get their running game going. They combined extremely well and Alistair Pickett in his 200th WAFL match really started to play a part, as did Kyle Horsley, who's having a purple patch with his own form, kicking a goal to the, for the Lions and at half-time Subiaco within 24 points. Third quarter was a very, very tough, tight one. Subiaco again made some inroads into the Perth lead. They narrowed the margin to 17 points at three-quarter time. And in the end, Subiaco just far too strong. Blake Broadhurst, who had been kept to only one goal to three-quarter time, was able to break clear and kick two in the final quarter to take his match tally to three. The Lions, in the end, were just far too strong. And Alistair Pickett, playing in game number 200, kicked the final goal of the game. And Subiaco ran out, in the end, convincing win. 13 goals 11 89 to Perth 11 9 75 the margin in the end was 14 points in favour of the Lions Next week, round 21, and East Roman will take on the Falcons. That match to be played at Wanthella Park Oval in Geraldton from 2pm, the Sharks versus the Falcons.